Hi, I'm Isis, and I'm going to share with you a great recipe. It's a twist on hummus. Now, usually hummus is made with chickpeas, garbanzo beans, they add sesame tahini, garlic, and lemon. So instead of using garbanzo be uh, beans, I'm going to actually use beets. And I have different beet varieties here. I have just your regular red beet, I have a chioga beet, and I have a golden beet. And I've got some lemon that I'll use, some garlic, tahini, and some salt. So what equipment that you want to use is your three-quart pan with the inset. Now the inset is the pan that has all the holes in it and I've put about an inch of water in the bottom. I'm going to put that in there. Now it's a little different than steamer. Uh, a lot of people relate this and call it the steamer. It's doing the same idea but of course at a lower temperature. We're not steaming at those really high temperatures. So what I'm going to do is I just want to cut some of the beets into little pieces. And you could do your, use this with a salad master machine. It's just with a red beet. It bleeds everywhere and gets all over the place. So I'm going to throw in some yellow. I'm going to cut up and just throw in some red beet. And it doesn't have to be any particular size. You could even put them in whole. This is just going to quicken the cooking time. So more beets, red beets. And this, this hummus is so nice. I mean, you could use it for a dip, for crackers at a party, or serve it with vegetables. And it really is nice because it's got a natural sweetness to it. All right, so chioga beet, a little more red beet. Now that looks about right for me. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to start this at medium temperature. And when it gets up to clicking, then I'm going to drop the temperature down to low. All right, so the beets are cooked. And now I'm going to show you how to put together the hummus. So what I'm going to do is just take our cooked beets. And I want to put it in a food processor. And they smell really good. All right, we're just going to dump on them. All right. OK, so cooked beets. Now, because this is hummus, you need to add some tahini. And I'm going to use about two heaping tablespoons. This is kind of clumpy, but that works. And some of the oil. All right. Two things, two tablespoons of tahini. And tahini is just like peanut butter, but it's sesame seeds. Now, I want to add about three cloves of garlic. If you like garlic, go ahead and fill free to add more. You know, recipes to me sometimes are just guidelines, and then you can switch it up and add this or that. So that's the neat thing about cooking and trying new recipes. I'm going to add some salt, and I'm also going to add juice from one lemon. All right, so what I want to do is just blend this until it's all nice and creamy, and then I'm going to show you the end result. All right, so our hummus is looking good. I'm just going to scrape around the sides. Now, usually what you can do is add a little bit of olive oil to make it creamier. I'm just going to, because I want to lower fat, I'm just going to add a little bit of water. So probably maybe two tablespoons of water. Okay, so I add a little water and now it looks perfect. Really, this is the consistency that I'm looking for. It's like a creamy dip, perfect for dipping. And I really hope you try this hummus because I know it's going to be one of your favorites.